welcome. Recently I received a package from Your Creative Studio, which is a monthly subscription box, and I had an idea for a project using the items. I did an unboxing video and I mentioned that I was hoping to do a, a pro you know, a project um, with the items. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I decided as my project I'll do a journal because that's what I like to do the most. So I'll leave a link to the unboxing video below if you are interested in watching it, but I want to show you the things from the box that I'm uh, planning to use. I have some little tags, they're beautiful. The theme of the box is like a woodland theme and it had uh, several squirrels including these two squirrel stamps. Um, these tags I think are pretty. I may not use all of these, but this is what I pulled out. Some tickets. These have nothing to do with woodland, but I like the colors. I tried to stick with pulling things out that were green and brown and, you know, kind of in that family. These are stamp stickers. I know I pulled out way too many from the box, but anything that was um, kind of nature related I pulled it out, just, you know, I like to have choices. <laughs> and then these beautiful little um, uh, papers, I don't know what you call these, but they're just, I think they're just so pretty. I only took one out of these, strangely. <laughs> I may get another one out, I don't know. I just think they're so cute. And then some paper uh, from the package also. They have some faux book pages, which I really like too. And then, so that's from the, oh, and this paper, that's like a handmade, um, almost like a rice paper, I think. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna use any of these things, but that's what I took out. I'm planning to make a fairly simple junk journal, or journal, so I probably pulled out way too much stuff, but I have this uh, little thin cardboard. It's not, you know, it's kind of medium. It's not super thin, it's not, very thick and I'm just gonna cut this in half to make my cover I don't want to make this difficult at all I just want to make cute small little journals so here's everything I pulled out this is the way I like to work and I may get more things out I probably won't use all of this in one journal but I just took out here's some eco prints things then little painty papers just scraps a lot of them are scraps scrapbook paper scraps that I had that I thought was, would go well with this theme and this color scheme. A couple of book pages, um, some brown wrapping paper that I had just put extra paint on, some uh, tea dyed paper, some more painty papers that I think I gel printed. This is actually from the inside cover of a book, it's probably this book right here. And then um, I coffee dyed a tag and I ink dyed, a spray ink dyed a tag. So I might use those, I'm not sure. And then anything related, nature -y. again, these are all little scraps that I just had laying around. This is scrapbook paper too. This is a book page that I had put together with washi tape um, some time ago. I thought this was a double page. Is it a double page? I don't know. Okay, I guess it's just one page. I thought it was a double, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll use that. More of that scribbly writing on the old book page. Another eco print. I had this <laughs> um, that scrap that I left out, a little vintage playing card. Again, these are like, I have a bin of scraps and I got these all from my bin. Some more paper, paper paper I like these are the papers I like to use in my journals so I pulled those out more tea dyed paper that I have to, have to cut down and then I did this gel print and then I stenciled on top of it and it's a book page and I thought the colors were good I pulled out my Tim Holtz um, scrapbook paper because I'm going to use one of these pages as like I like to make my signatures uh, the first, like a, like have covers within a cover, if that makes sense. So something like scrapbook paper or something a little sturdier to kind of be the first thing uh, um, around my signatures. I hope that makes sense, but if not, you'll see. Oh, and also 
this came in the box um, from your creative studio. It's so pretty. I'm definitely using this. It's a sticker um, that it peels off like this and it's sticky on this side. So that's going to be really pretty on something, one of these papers. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to use all this for. Had this laying around too. I thought, okay, green, it goes. Um, so I'm going to fast forward and then uh, let you see what I'm doing. But I think most of what I'm going to do is self-explanatory. I don't even know what I'm going to do, as I mentioned before. But first thing I'm going to do is work on my cover. That's how I like to do it. And so I'm going to cut this in half and then figure out how I'm going to decorate my cover. Um, sometimes I get stuck on decorating the cover, so I just start and then I leave it and work on my pages and come back to it. And it all somehow comes together <laughs> at the end. I don't know how, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, here we go. So first step is I did cut that cardboard in half and now I'm going to decorate it and I decided to use one of those uh, faux book pages but they weren't big enough to cover the whole pa uh, cover so I got some real book pages out and, and used those, glued those on and then put the um, faux book page, the so-called faux book page on top of that and you'll see in just a minute. Now I use my glue stick a lot for gluing things that are um, thin and like paper, things like that. But if it's thicker paper or thicker fabric, I will use Fabri-Tac glue. And you'll see me use that type of glue later on a little bit. But for most of this project, I was able to use my glue stick. I think it works well. Um, I know some people <laughs> don't think that holds, but I haven't had any issues with it. Um, so this is a little, you know, simple journal that I'm making, probably either keeping for myself or maybe I'll give it to someone in some happy mail someday. So I think it'll be fine. Um, so I covered the back page with a book page and left it like that. I was going to decide later whether I needed to add anything to the back or not and I ended up deciding that it looked fine. So I tore my little fabric because I'm going to use that as the spine of my little journal. Um, I was, again, I'm gonna make this a fairly simple project, simple journal, so it's just gonna have one signature and I'm going to um, use the fabric as a spine, which works just fine. I've used it with three signatures before, but with one signature it works absolutely fine, I think. So I'm inking around the edges of my um, covers but before I attach the fabric, but then I remember that I haven't decorated the inside of the covers. So um, I still glued on, I, I'm still in the process of forgetting that, I guess. <laughs> I glued on the fabric to one side and then I said, well, I better, I better decorate the inside before I get any further. So that's what I'm pointing to there. And I decided I would look for some paper to go on the inside. And I thought I was going to use that paper at first. Um, I just, as you can see, I'm debating. That's what I'm doing when I'm tapping my fingers, thinking and debating. But um, I wasn't convinced. And so I looked through my stack again and I ended up using this one. I think the other one, in retrospect, it probably would have worked fine too. But and nevertheless, I end up using that one. I glue it all down. I cut that part out because it's just more gluing and cutting. And then I edged with the... Um, distress ink and the with the dauber it the felt dauber I was using before it makes a, a lighter brown edge but I wanted a bit darker for the cover so then if you apply it this way it makes a darker a darker edge around your your piece 
So then I am, I believe, I am going to attach that fabric. Yes, I am. And um, I had this other little piece of fabric to put on the inside. So um, it's a decorative piece, plus it adds a little more stability, sturdiness, as I call it, to the spine. And uh, that's also a very thin fabric. So I'm gonna glue the whole thing. Um, both pieces I should say with the um, with the glue stick and I'm just eyeballing all this stuff really again I'm being very loose and casual about this project because I don't want it to be complicated um, taking it just one one step at a time and um, you know it all works out fine I didn't measure the spine I just decided I would put some papers together and <laughs> Um, you know, it would work out fine, and it does. <laughs> so, um, I'm showing you that I'm going to go and sew around the edges, and I do that. So, that's another reason I should say sometimes I glue and I sew. Since it's the cover, I want that to make sure it doesn't fall apart. So, um, I also trim down the papers that I am going to use, and I'm showing you all the papers there. Um, I usually tear the papers to uh, get them to the right size to fit in the journal so that's what I did and um, I just like to add a variety of papers and I usually add uh, two or three depending of tea dyed sort of papers you know to have something also um, not as decorative I guess so anyway moving on there's my scrapbook paper I had the idea to fold it like that and create a pocket. And um, I didn't like it folded the other way, so I folded it so the pocket's on the outside there. And it, it could be, it could have been folded the other way so the pocket's on the inside, if that makes sense. And then I decided to make a little, um, you know, like a little, um, what do you call that? Little indentation <laughs> to indicate that it's a pocket. But I'm not happy with the way that right side looks because it's so dark, you can't really even see that little half circle I cut. But anyway, I thought maybe edging it would work, but no, that doesn't work. So I sewed the two sides of that scrapbook paper to hold that together. And now I'm gonna put my pages together in the order that I want them. Now I'm going through this process and you'll see how I'm doing it. I, I'm doing it willy-nilly actually. I'm just, um, I'm just, you know, varying my papers and since it's just one signature it's not that difficult. So, you know, trying to, you know, put in like light papers, dark papers, plain papers, more patterned papers, things like that together and it's really a matter of preference and taste. Um, there's no right or wrong or anything like that. And that paper, when I folded it, tore. So I just put some masking tape on it to hold it together. And um, I like that look. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't bother me. But I decided not to put that there because it just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't work right for me. So I put it to the side and I'll figure out where to put it later. And I like the way those two pieces look better for some reason. Again, I don't know. It's a matter of taste. That sheet music, um, if I was making a nicer journal, I don't know if nicer is the right word, but maybe I guess if I was going to sell it or something like that, I would have put um, some washi tape down the side, I mean down the, on the spine to hold that together a little better. But anyway... It, this is gonna be fine. So um, I do, I wanna fit that little piece in. I put masking tape on it, by golly, I gotta find a place for it. And I do, that's the spot for it. So um, then I realized that some of my papers are a little bit too big and I trimmed those down, but I did that off camera. Um, so in, to fix my little, um, pocket there that I didn't like I sewed a little some a button onto some fabric and I'm going to glue it on there so it the it shows a little better that that's a pocket and I like that little decorative element anyway I think it looks cute and I also showed you some fabrics that I pulled out 
that I'm going to use as um, decor decorative items on the journal. And there you go. <laughs> I sewed them on real quick and um, I used them as tabs. I'm showing you how I attach them and I just did some wonky stitch sewing and put them together. Now I attach those um, faux tickets to a book page and I with my glue stick and I cut them out and then I, I inked around the edges of those two. I'm not going to show you everything because it's very repetitive. It's just gluing, cutting, and so on. I did the same with those tags, those mini tags, except I used tea dyed paper instead of a book page. And now I'm going to decorate these two little pieces that I have decided would make great little pockets for this mini journal. And I have um, a piece of burlap. There you see my Fabri-Tac glue because um, I don't think I would stick burlap fabric on with a glue stick. I don't think it would hold. So I use that... Um, that kind of like rice paper, I wish I knew the right terms for some of these things, that it came in the box, the Your Creative Studios box, and I used that um, behind the, the bird stamp there. And um, I'm going really fast, <laughs> now I need to catch up. So I'm putting, it, putting this all together. Um, I uh, used a little squirrel sticker on there. Um, I decided, uh oh, I better edge around that to make a little bit of a contrast so it'll show up. That's not absolutely necessary, but I kind of like that touch. So I stuck that on there, and then I worked on the other one. Um, oh, I switched the burlap, I forgot to say, and the paper um, on the those two pockets. And by golly, I do use my glue stick <laughs> to stick on that burlap after all after I said I was going to use Fabri-Tac oh well it you know what it worked and it stayed on there so go figure um so I put that sticker on there and I really felt like this needed something along the bottom this little pocket needed some other uh those stickers are hard to pull off sometimes <laughs> needed something along the bottom but I didn't know what that was going to be so um at first, <laughs> but I remembered uh, washi tape, <laughs> and so I said, oh, I'm gonna look at my washi tape, and I wanted something dark to tie in with the dark um, of the stamp, so I thought this washi tape was perfect, and the words fit there perfectly, it was meant to be, so now I have my two little pockets, but see, the glue cl <laughs> stick <laughs> is not uh, holding, I'm just kidding, I just didn't put enough glue on it, I think. Okay, so I have my tags, I have my tickets, I have my two little pockets. Now I uh, attached the squirrel paper and onto some um, craft paper. I mean, not, I'm sorry, scrapbook paper is what I meant to say. Oh, that was my phone, sorry. I better turn it on silent because what if my phone starts ringing while I'm talking? <laughs> um, anyway, I had that paper. It's a cardstock. And I um, put the squirrel paper on there because that was thin to make it into a tag. And when I cut off the extra um, of that cardstock, I realized that that would look good with my little pocket there to kind of finish it off. Because, you know, the squirrel's like just hanging out there in the middle of thin air. And so um, I was really happy with the way that turned out, too. That's another happy little accident. So that's cool that the way that worked out. I think that looks really good. So then I have my squirrel tag, I have my little two pockets. Um, I have my grungy coffee dyed tag. And I was thinking, I was trying to decorate that squirrel tag, but I really didn't know, to be perfectly honest, I really didn't know how to decorate it. So I ended up leaving it like that and I just put um, some ribbon at the top and um, you know I can worry about it another day so then I was trying to figure out how to decorate my um, coffee dyed tag I really wanted to use that little oval piece somewhere but that it just didn't look right to me and uh, lo and behold I think that that is <laughs> the right thing to use and you know that little piece of burlap I had hanging around from leftover from the other piece I thought fit perfectly with the stamp so that's what I did 
um, I think I ended up using the Fabri-Tac on here because, yeah, I do, because um, I really do think Fabri-Tac is better with the burlap fabric and, and the thicker fabrics for sure. So I attached that. I had some trouble with my Fabri-Tac glue. It's almost finished, and so it's hard to get it out when it's at the very, very end like that. So I finally do get it on there, hallelujah. And that's all I'm gonna do with that tag. Okay, so now, um, before I sew in, well, let's see, I don't even remember what I'm doing. I'm just looking at my pages, <laughs> um, showing you, I don't know, I'm looking at the pages and trying to figure out what I'm gonna put where, I guess. Um, before I sew in my pages, I like to add any embellishments um, that are going to be attached, if that makes sense. So like those pockets, um, anything I'm going to sew, you know, because once you sew the signatures into your journal, it's very difficult to, uh, or it can be very difficult to sew things on, you know, on your pages. You can always sew something and then attach it with glue, and I've done that before too, but this is the way I prefer to do it. So um, I decided though to um, just finish up with those little tags, adding a little ribbon, and now I'm just looking through my pages and trying to figure out what to put where. And again, that is just... Okay, sorry, I got cut off there by mistake and I didn't wanna start re-recording because that was a lot. So um, I can't remember what I was saying, to be honest, but um, I'll just keep going. Um, I'm deciding where to put my pockets, um, any other items before I sew in the signatures. And I showed there how I glued on. Well, I didn't actually show it because I was still having trouble with my Fabri-Tac glue coming out quickly. So took me a little bit to get that glue out. But anyway, um, I'll show it with this pocket here, um, how I glued it on three sides, very easy, and stuck it on there. Um, Fabri-Tac glue works really well, not just on fabric, but on paper. And um, I also did not sew those pockets because I wanted to show that you don't have to sew everything if you don't want to, or if you don't have a sewing machine. So, um, you know, I think they look fine. Um, normally I do sew on the edges of those pockets, so anyway, um, I decided to use, I wanted to use my little squirrel stamp, so I stamped that on the, um, that paper that was very plain on two sides, but you know, I didn't do a very good job stamping here because I was just in a hurry and um, I didn't, I wasn't as careful as I should have been. I just sewed that little pocket, which I had kind of forgotten about there. So I'm just going through my pages again. I do this a lot when I'm making a journal and just, you know, adding things that I think it needs. Um, occasionally I'll move pages around before I sew them in. And um, I realized where I wanted to put my other little squirrel stamp. So I stamped it there. Again, a very poor stamping job, but it's okay. I don't really mind stamps not being perfect so anyway I still have that little pa little oval paper to I have to put that somewhere it's so darn cute the paper is really nice quality paper so I put it on the inside um, of the first signature and I really like the way that turned out in retrospect I remem remember just recently that <laughs> I wanted to put some words or a word on there and I completely forgot, but I can still go back and do that um, later. And then I thought I might use um, some of those stamps because they're really pretty and they have the right theme, the right colors. So I decided, um, I think I was debating on whether or not to put them there, but I ended up putting them there and you'll see that in a minute. <laughs> Those are stickers, as you have probably noticed, so um, I they're really easy to use. I like that. 
and they would those would be great for collage too you know um if you don't have any um real postage stamps i think i'm i'm sure i'm going to be using those and um i thought i'd just add a few little things here and there to some of the pages that maybe didn't have much and i like those little um kind of craft like stickers too so um i think they have the right touch for this little journal as well so i'm pleased the way um, everything seems to go together well um, you know sometimes i make journals without a theme and sometimes i do have a little theme going on so but this one i think it worked out it worked out nicely and i'm so happy that i got to use that leaf <laughs> i've had forever in my stash. I may even have more of that. I made that a long time ago. I love the way it looks, but I have tried to use that thing in so many places. You have no idea, and it just never seemed to work. Okay, so I'm trying to see if I can put that bird there, but I just didn't think it was the right thing. Still need to add a little button on that one page, and now I'm trying to figure out where I can use that uh, sort of sticker uh, decorative piece. I really love the way that looks, um, so I wanted to use it, and I finally decided that I would use it on that page. It's funny because that's a grungy, kind of messy page with a, with torn edges, and I thought that piece, which is a more, you know, not grungy, kind of fancy, structured, more piece, um, I thought it looked pretty good there, and with the um, paper that's right next to it, so I was pleased with that. Okay, now I'm going to attempt my <laughs> sewing in of my signature. Um, this is not a tutorial on how to sew in a signature, but I thought I would leave it in because if I didn't, maybe somebody would be upset that I didn't show how I did that, so I decided to show it. I'm a very awkward um, sewer in of signatures. Um, I said this before in a previous video, and um, it's not difficult at all. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just am awkward at it. It's not hard, and it always works out fine. But just to let you know <laughs> that I am. So, if you want a tutorial on how to sew in a signature, please um, search on YouTube for a pamphlet, three hole pamphlet stitch uh, signature, and that's what that is. I use that almost all the time. It's really, really easy, and um, it should have been a lot easier in this little journal. I had some struggles with the hole only because I think I was just in a hurry, and I was trying to do it quickly, so, um, and I just, I don't know. So anyway, you punch three holes, one in the middle and one on each end. I didn't even measure with this because, again, I wanted this to be really fast and simple. I don't mind if things aren't perfectly straight at all. And so um, I thought that I did a pretty good job with those actually. <laughs> and so the other thing is I don't think I really made sure my holes went all the way through properly and things were lined up and so on. Um, then I remembered, oh my gosh, I wanted to put those little pieces on there as an extra little decorative item. So without um, going into a lot of detail, I just sewed X's with some embroidery floss on both sides and then I used my Fabri-Tac glue to cut that, um, I mean to attach those two pieces before I continued. And maybe that also messed me up, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it really it really isn't that bad. I, I get it done <laughs> and it's fine. I had to fiddle with it a little bit. So I take my thread and that's some wax linen thread I use um, and a needle um, I measure three times the length that I need I mean the the book that I'm sewing in signature the book yeah and um, this is where I struggle a bit I cut the struggling part out <laughs> so you don't need to see that and then I sewed in my signature um, I got eventually got it I struggle some more <laughs> um, Doggone it, that thing is just tricky. 
I should have cut this part out too. But anyway, I got it done. You can see how I had to finagle it a little bit because, you know, that's just the way it worked out. So anyway, got it done. Should have been a lot easy peasy. Um, then you just pull your thread and make sure it's tight and, you know, secure and all that. It's not too loose, too loosey-goosey. I just want to keep saying funny words, <laughs> funny sayings while we're waiting for me to check everything. And then I double knot it to make sure that it stays put, trim it off, and there you go. So I think, oh, I had to add a little more glue there to make sure that my um, little ribbon piece stayed on there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I got my signature sewn in, I'm going to add the embellishments that I, that I tuck into pockets or that I glue in, I mean, excuse me, clip in. Those I don't like to add until the end because it just makes it bulky and more difficult to um, sew in those signatures. So that's what I'm doing now. I took out my little binder clip, I love using those, and I've few paper clips and I'm going to put my squirrel tag at the front because um, I think that's the best place for it and that tag in the back and I still have to put that button in <laughs> um, and then I decided I wanted to put something there a little bit like when you first open the book you see something nice and then I just you know just flip through make sure that I fill in the pockets. Um, I thought that was a little plain. It could use a uh, little tag of some sort. And then I put a little, another little random um, scrap in there too. And then I realized I got to figure out where to put my binder clip because I like it to look nice, you know, like from the top and the sides of my journals. So I thought it would work there. And so I clipped a couple of things there. And there, felt putting my little tiny tag in my little tiny pocket. <laughs> and there's another very blank page, so I can clip that in there. And there's a little pocket there, so I need something to put there. That little piece of paper there, handy, and it fits. Um, you know, you can as you're as you're watching this. Um, you can go, you know, you can be very, decorate your pages a lot more than this. You can decorate them less than this, of course. It's all a matter of preference and who the journal is for, what, it, you know, what the, is the purpose and so on. So as I was going through, I decided I wanted to add one more little sticker there. That little house, which I think looks really cute on that page. And then I think I might be done. Oh, I was thinking that I wanted something there, but that didn't, that doesn't work at all. So I think I'm pretty okay, much done. Okay, here is my final journal, and I have some sun spots coming in from the blinds by my, from my window here, so please ignore that. I'll move this a little bit out of the way, but um, this is how I decided to do the closure with just some simple twine. I added a little Tim Holtz tag, it says G for genuine. And I thought that looked really nice and added a nice touch. And I just put it in on the twine and you can slide it around, you know, if you want to move it somewhere else. So I'm going to do a little mini flip through. Oh, the sun went away for a minute. Good. <laughs> um, there's my little squirrel tag. Um, by the way, I still need to add a button in the back here. I just need to find a little button. A little scrap of fabric similar it doesn't have to be exactly the same but I didn't want to wait to do the flip through so I'll do that shortly and then um, I'll just flip through very quickly just in case anyone missed anything before I love adding um, oh, I love adding fabrics too but I love cl clipping things on just little extra bits and pieces I think it looks nice and then you can use them to journal in your little book. This is the little tat, the little pocket I made. I love the way that looks in the middle, and I didn't even plan it that way. One of those lucky accidents. 
and this little pocket here I probably will put something else that looks a little bit nicer there the other little pocket and that is about it I like to leave a lot of space for journaling for art journaling junk journaling whatever anyone wants to do and there you go there you have it that's my little book I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and thanks for watching see you next time